first half. I thought Themis Fulks got us off to a great start, hit some big buckets for us, gave us a little momentum. Uh, Kentrell took out Blackman for the most part, uh, all game, but he did it in the first half. I think they only had one three-point field goal at the half. The second half, Blackman got his one field goal on a, on a kick out uh, on an offensive rebound, and we missed a block out. But he's one for 10, one for five. Played 38 minutes and scored four points, three points. Uh, so good job there. Uh, everything went well in the first half. Uh, we talked about the last two halves that we'd had last week, and we came out and uh, let them make some three-point shots. They are the leading three-point shooting team in the conference ahead of us, by the way, after our performance last weekend. So uh, we won the three-point game tonight. I thought that was, that was big for us. To have uh, six turnovers for the game, you know, we had 20 in Monroe. That was huge. Uh, and we were able to, to coast in. You know, obviously we won the game in the first half. And, uh, but if you told me we were going to beat Monroe by 17, I would have taken it from the jump. Is it, it's got to be difficult when you get up 30 that or with that much time left in the game to stay focused? You well, yes, partly. And they hit a couple of shots, hit a couple of tough shots. I got some old, old rebounds. I thought Bafudo played really good before fouling out. And Thomas Howell hit a couple of timely threes. I uh, thought he, he had a good game, too, there in, in a stretch. Uh, I thought Greg did a good job on LaCour. You know, he's a good player, too, and we got him frustrated a little bit. Uh, but the big swing in the game is what a potential 11-point play. We've got the ball, and Jalen gets an intentional foul. They get two, two free throws and the ball. And, you know, was it five or eight-point differential right there? I mean, that was huge. And uh, we can't have that. Coach, the theme is, it just seemed like he kind of just was on on point all night, I mean, from the get-go. It, it, did you see something in practice that uh, where he might uh, give you a game like that? Yeah, it's a great question, George, because I just talked to him today at shooting practice and told him that, you know, you came here to help us win games that we, we let go in the second half. And I said, you, we just left two on the table. You know, and he played good at Southern Miss. He did not play good at Troy. But uh, – he came out and he was focused. He was ready. And to, to hit a couple of early threes for him, I mean, he's three for six from three. That's that's huge. He made a beautiful reverse layup. Uh, did some really good things for us. So he's definitely one of our leaders. To that point, can you speak to just the importance of bouncing back in this one tonight? I'm sorry, man. Can you speak to the importance of bouncing back in the week? Yeah, it was, it was important to, to, to bounce back and, you know, get back on our feet. Uh, I thought the first half was similar to the Troy game here. We really guarded and separated uh, from the other team. But, I mean, we, we've got to bounce back every time. I mean, we've got to. And that's what we talked about in practice. We had a great practice Tuesday, uh, good practice yesterday, and uh, look forward to having a good one in the morning before we leave. Well, it looked like Marshall was going to lose, but they won by one point. It was a big comeback, and South Alabama was hammered. Southern Miss and James Madison won, so y'all kind of separated from the, that middle group, but what about the importance of Saturday's game? Well, it's very important. And, you know, we told you guys last, or Monday at the press conference, that, and I told the team this, I mean, next Saturday night we could be in first place and have the one seed. So, uh, but we've got to go play, and we've got to play solid, and we're going to have to win a close game in one of these next three and, and hope someone else can knock off Southern Miss. Uh, but this game's huge. We knew it would be big. It's also big because of a tiebreaker situation. Uh, and Mark does a good, really good job. So we're, we're headed to the office here in a minute, and the coaches will fill me in on the game plan, and we'll sit up there and watch film for a couple hours. You win the game easily, Coach, but it was really a team effort. You know, Themis had a great game, but – you know, Jordan gets you 15, Terrence gets you 11, Anna dive into the crowd. You know, Kentrell, 12 points, seven from Joe. I mean, everyone kind of, I mean, nine from Kobe. Everyone kind of chipped in tonight in total team efforts. Yeah, did, did a really good job. Joe missed a couple of free throws late, but I thought he, he did some good things. Uh, 
but four starters and double figures, and then, and then with Greg with nine and Kobe with nine. I thought Kobe gave us a, a big lift tonight. 